How's it going everyone? It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog and we're going to take a look at Apple's iPhone 7 aluminum docks. Now these are really not specific for any reason to the iPhone 7s. This will work with really any iPhone or almost any lightning device. I could, I probably shouldn't, but you probably could put iPads on here as well if it wasn't so small and probably topple over. However, what is different on this specific model is this is the new color. So this is the black model, which will match the iPhone 7 that is in black. Not the glossy jet black, but the standard matte black. So this is kind of our first look for those who weren't at the actual press event and the hands-on of actually seeing what this color is going to look like. I have to say, I do really like the color. Mind you, there is a piece of plastic covering it in this particular shot, um, but it is just a really deep black compared to the space gray that we've had previously. The space gray option still is around, however, so this comes in five different colors, rose gold, gold, silver, space gray, and this new black finish. Now we'll get into much more detail when we actually come across our iPhone 7 in the coming days. But for now, the first thing I noticed is as soon as I laid my hand on this, I already had some fingerprints just from the oils on my hands. So you can even see it in this shot. So it is something I'm going to have to get used to, especially for anyone who has that iPhone 7 in that matte black, but that's kind of a given. And I feel like I'd rather have that than some of the scratches on the glossy version. On the back of this, there is still the lightning port and the audio out, and that's actually how Apple recommends listening to audio as well as charging your phone at the same time using some form of dock. Probably they would recommend their options, but they are quite pricey. They do have white versions available for $39 and their anodized metal ones for $49. Let us know what you think of the new colors down in the comments. Please subscribe, and until next time, it's Andrew for iDownloadBlog.